Good morning, legends. Welcome back to another team analysis video. I did forget the the Eels game in the team list. Apparently, I did it uh, last year as well on the on the Easter Monday. Game. So we'll see if it happens next year again. But I will do that in the next video. I just don't have as much time this morning to add that in. But I'll do that in the next one. So let's get through the teams now that we're post team list Tuesday. There's plenty to talk about, and I've got about thirty teams to roll through, nice and quick here and hopefully can help you out and answer these questions that you've got. So this team here is sitting in the, in the mid 5,000s here, 26 trades remaining, 180K in the bank. So is Thompson good enough to play for Haas? Well, yeah, I suppose. Haas is not worth the trade out. Uh, he's only out the one week. This obviously was, was done before we found out he was out for one week. So Haas to hold. Best option here is probably just to play Thompson the one week, cop the 25 or 30, whatever he's got. You know, a majority of the time, we have a player or two in our team that gets 25 anyway. We've got you know, 17, a 16 here, a um, you know, 19 from Paps, which this doesn't, team have for, this team doesn't have, for example. So just, just play him this week. Unless you've got any clear trade outs, then I'd just be playing him. Who should I play on the interchange? I think Ilias is a decent shout. Schneider should definitely be there. Obviously, you can have the, the loop there with, with Haas and, and Schiller as well. So you could do the double loop this week, which would be cool. So Ilias and Schneider, I'd, I'd be you know, looking to, to play. Probably over Tui. You know, he had a couple of turnover tackles this last week, so something to think about with him for sure. I'd be happy to play Brody Jones, but I'd, I'd definitely be looking to play you know, Schneider at least at a minimum um, and deal with that from there. Is Cleary still a clear captaincy option or has he fallen off? Of course he hasn't fallen off. I'm, capt I'm probably going to bring him in this week and captain him. So you know, DC is a great option as well. Hines or Harry Green if you want to, but Cleary is obviously you know, usually going to be a safest. He's coming to his third game now upon return and he should be good. I'm going to trade out Coates is tough for buy now that Latrell is out. Yeah, but you could trade in Taff and, and Coates gets 40 and Taff gets 20. So you'll be, you'll be killing yourself there. So I think you should just hold on that one. And Critter, not a trade out yet. We spoke about him. Walters, I think, is a hold. Um, yeah, other than that, not too much to do in this squad. You've obviously used a fair few trades already. So you know, maybe the one trade or, or no trades this week would be okay for this squad. You've got enough players in your interchange. You know, it's only the Leo Thompson thing. And none of these guys are a trade out anyway. So just hold steady. All right, we have an 88 ranked team here with 26 trades remaining. Questions are Arrow plus Nanite, Ipaps and Gula. Yeah, of course you can if you'd like to. Um, you could wait a week. You could give you know, Nanai another crack just because he's you know been really, really good, obviously, um, you know, on and off games. You know, he's had 17 or 27, but he's had a 40-odd, a 50-odd, and a 60-odd in the other three. So you know, chances are he does that again next week if you're you know, looking to guess this week. You could wait two weeks and get Cleary as well as he drops a bit of price, which is cool. That's definitely a good option. Straight swap arrow to Cotter. Yeah, you could, but what are you getting? An extra couple of points for a, a sideways trade? Um, you know, is that worth it? It's up to you if you think that is. When you've used a bunch of trades already, I think probably not. I think you could go an deny or something like that to him instead uh, in another week, but that's that with this team. Well done, 88 ranked. All right, 23,627. I'm a newbie, so rage traded, okay. Think uh, leave House on emergency this week and play Heather. Yep. How should I get Cleary drop Bolo or Hugh and Hughes? Is Maxi King still a buy? Maxi King's not a buy. Unfortunately, you missed out on that one. Poor fella. You got Wishart, Fafida, Moale, and, and didn't have King. That's tough. Um, Junior. Yeah, Junior's a trade, I think. So I think you can get rid of him. I wouldn't be moving on Hughes, though. I think that's a silly trade. I would probably... Just try and build up a bit of cash to eventually get clear. I wouldn't, uh, you can't get him this week. And unfortunately, you've got guys like Wishart and Fafita. You know, Fafita made a little bit of money, but not too much. Uh, so I think you need to try and build up to Cleary or, or maybe just you know, stick to your, your big guns in, in Murray, etc. Get Heather in um, and just you know, try to slow down the trades a little bit. And just you know, hopefully if a few of these guys build up some cash and then you can move them on for a Cleary, for example, would be my thoughts. The Mumbai special. 934 rank, well done on that so far. Obviously not a good week last week, coming 22,000th, but yeah, 376 in the bank, 27 trades remaining. Don't know how to bring in Cleary, thinking Teddy to him. Teddy's a hold, unfortunately. Um, yeah, if, if that's what you're looking for. Sorry, I'm gonna say Teddy's a hold. Uh, he's you know, clearly usually the best fullback every year, and I don't see that changing. Yeah, you know, he's just having a bit of a low start to the year. It's tough now, a good option. Yeah, he'd be decent, but I wouldn't. I don't think he's needed to bring him in right this second. Uh, the rest of the guys on the bench are good. Brown, Heinz is captain. They'll be fine this week. Perhaps Heather. Yeah, I think you can almost hold trades this week, mate. 
Team's looking pretty solid. I, yeah, I wouldn't really be looking to move anyone on in this squad. I, I guess I understand why you're looking at Teddy, but I'd be holding steady on that one. This one here, ranked 2018, 26 for trades remaining. Do I hold Teague or do I pick up McInnes for him? No, 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 hold Teague. He's been good. Um, just obviously had a lighter one on the weekend, getting hit in the head. He'll be fine. He'll get back to 80 minutes this week. McInnes is going to play through the middle or, or in the hooking position. Do I trade Ben Hunter Cleary? No. Cleary hasn't been an absolute superstar the first two games. Like, if he was getting 80 every week, then fair enough, but he hasn't. So, you know, and Hunt's had a couple of eight, a 70 and 80, um, and a couple of low ones. They'll, they'll get better. He'll be better. It'll be, it'll be fine for, for Hunty. I'd be holding on steady to him. Guys are making money on the bench. Yeah, Jeremiah is anyone to think about in the next bunch of weeks. That's about it. Otherwise, that I'd probably hold, mate. This is a you know, pretty good-looking team. Pretty simple, just to hold steady. All right, Revelo's Raptors, 4-3, 7-2 in the overall rank. If you haven't subscribed, guys, get around it. It'll be very much appreciated, appreciated there. Hit the like on this video as well. 26 trades remaining, 224 in the bank. Okay, thinking Russell to Taff, or waiting wait to see how he goes. So Russell's gonna be back soon, anywhere between round eight and 10. This is round six, so with Sivo looking to be back around mid mid season, about round thirteen, we could we will probably see Russell back in uh, on that wing. So just be aware of that. He started the season there. He'll probably get that position back when his ribs are back to full health. So you can use him as a loop from here till then. I, I just wouldn't waste that trade. You know, using that extra fifty or fifty or sixty k to, to get Taff when we're not exactly sure how he's going to go. He's come back from ankle an ankle injury. I just um, hold steady. The rest of the team looks pretty good, mate. That's all I'm going to say. Easy. All right, big one here, ranked 79,000. All right, the croissant, Volker Lettuce, DCE, Haas, Cleary, Aiken, Hines, Tungo, Crichton, Papali are solid. Yes, not really looking to sell any of these guys. Tell me if you see any potential trades. Would like Leo Thompson to go up in price a little bit. That would be nice. Okay, I can't see this properly, but got Leo there for feeder, Will Smith. So you just got a bunch of guys on the bench here that aren't making any cash. So I'd be looking to try to make some money out of those guys. Obviously, you've spent up big to get DCE and Cleary, which is obviously good. you got sitting with Charlie Staines there with a five in there, so I'd, I'd be looking to move him on. But the issue is, how do you get the money? And with a team like this, yeah, you've gone really top-heavy with the guns. So, geez, that is tough. What do you do here? Not really any, yeah, you could probably bring in Cooler if you wanted to. I think you might need to straight, straight swap to get him in, so I'd be going for... A Wishart, I'd say, to Cooler this week, or Schiller, up to you if you want to do that. So get another playing player, and I'd play him over Staines, I, I think, in this one. And then, would you go Taff? I probably would. Oh, could you do that? 40 odd in, 50 odd up. Yeah, I suppose you can bring in Taff for Will Smith. So I'd probably make those two trades and try and make a little bit of cash this week. This is a very different situation when you have four or five guys that aren't making any money and half of them aren't even playing, then they're the ones you'd side, sideways trade at the bottom to bring in a cash cow, just because you need to get the ball rolling here. So that's my theory with this team. Other than that, that's about all, mate. All right, 2987 from the overall rank here. Trade Hass out straight for Cleary? Nope. He's only out for one week. Yeah, obviously this was out. Sent to me before we found out the news. Trade out a hooker, cash cow straight for Murray? No. Any of them are making money, don't do it. Straight swap in the night. For Papali, Papali'i or Karen, yeah, you can do that if you like. That's pretty good. I like the one trade. Wait a week, trade arrow for Cleary, hold trades. I can do the Nanai one right now, if you'd like to. Or you could trade arrow up, if you want to. Arrow to Papali'i could be all right as well. Yeah, because you got him as, as mid cover. That would be fine. Either one of those two would be sweet, mate. I think your um, team's looking all right. Whoops. Okay, so we've got a 17,370. I saw that. Great vids. Thank you very much. Darbs on carbs. Captain options for this week. We've got Harry Grant. We've got Hines. Munster as well. Joshy, Joshy Curran as well if you're looking there, but I'd probably go the, the Grant Hines Munster option. Should I have traded TPJ or Lolo for Wilton? I'd be holding Wilton, so reverse that trade. Thinking of cashing out Randall and Schneider for Cleary in a few weeks when Cleo drops in price. Yeah, if you want to, but those guys are really doing well and making money, so I wouldn't be touching them in the next sort of three to four weeks. I think he got Aiken as to center and then Penasini to edge, to edge. How's that gonna work? Are you saying wing fullback? Hold on, I'm a bit lost on this one. Uh, you're either holding him for a bit and if he continues to score like 30, then you could eventually move him on. Um, and Aiken can come down and you've got a few edges anyway, so that's fine. Uh, that's about, oh, yeah, 
Cool. All right, 51,719 here. Yeah, use a ton of trades, which I hate, but I feel as if I need to do them to get really get my team going. Yeah, that's fair. You obviously ranked pretty low, so plenty to fix up. Uh, should I make cap space for a Cleary upgrade? Cleary has a lot of money to lose before he's a buyer. Do I keep a second to replace Haas if he gets suspended? Yeah, probably just keep a second this week. Use him. Yeah, he's scoring okay, so that's fine. With the trail out, should I look or a potential cash cow? Um, yeah, you could look at him, but I don't think you need him this week. Then I's not eventually a keeper, but he's a hold for the next few weeks. Should I trade any of my emergencies? Yeah, so the Momorowski one is a little bit of an issue. Sitting there with the, obviously, the wing fullback cover is what you've got him there for. Walters doesn't have to go. Don't have any, you know, too many hookers is fine. In terms of your starting side, you've got Coates down there, which is annoying. So I'd be looking to... It is tough, eh? Because it's like, do you, is it worth trading in Taft this week? It probably isn't. Um, for a Momorowski or a Coates. You've got Finucane in there just doing okay now. He's someone I'd look to probably upgrade in this side, if I'm honest. Other than that, there's not a lot I'd like to trade this week. So you want to use Paseca in for a mid. And I'd look to trade out Paseca. So I'd use his money. You got that extra cash in the bank um, and a Momorowski or a Coates. I'd look to trade them out in the next few weeks. So you could you, know, you could upgrade Finucane this week if you want to, or you could hold steady completely. And then Finucane, Momorowski, Paseca, or Coates are the three, the four guys you'd want to look to be moving on. The rest can stay. I think that's the way to think about it in this team. And we'll ask the questions next week. Okay, I've ranked 42. So this is a big one for V4. So well done so far to you. Having a really, really good season. It's clearly a must this week playing the Broncos with Haas and Carrigan and maybe Reynolds out if he doesn't pass the test. Also, won't have pain to captain expecting Cleary to get 70 plus. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking personally. I'm probably going to trade the arrow to Cleary and just captain him because we don't have pain this week. And, and he's been my uh, superstar captain over the over the, the first um, yeah the first five rounds of the season here. So that's my thinking there. Can't afford him this week without trading Haas, but we ought to get Haas back when he suspends chance. No, obviously one trade this you know one one week out is not a trade out. How long until Arrow and Nanai should be have to be trade out? Next couple of weeks, Cotter's definitely a decent option. He's you know averaging fifty there. Got about hundred k to make if he keeps averaging fifty. I will speak about him in, in the next video that I do. Um, but he's a potential option, just under six hundred k if you need someone like that. But I wouldn't be trading Arrow straight to him. I just see like there's only about five points in extra value there. Yes, you bank about 40k. You know, unless that makes you able to springboard into another trade, I'd probably hold off on that one. How many trades should I be aiming to have left at round 10? This is when I always fall apart. Yeah, well, 29 at the moment, you're killing it. So in this kind of team here, do you need to make any trades this week? Like, really, you've got Arrow in there. That could be potentially a trade out. The rest of the guys in your interchange are not. So if you hold trades again this week, you're going to have so many left remaining. And after round 10, if you have anywhere around the 22 to 23 mark, then you're gonna be smashing it. You know, heading into round 13 with about eight, you know, 18 to 20 trades, you'll be set. So really, really happy with, your, with where you're at the moment. Remember you get four trades at the end as well. So good stuff V4, don't, um, don't stress too much. And I don't think you even have to trade this week. So trades front, you're sweet. All right, three, four, five, one for overall rank for Joker Addicts. 27 trades in the bank. Who do I upgrade, downgrade? Looking to get in Cleary, Murray, or Papali'i? Or should I bring in more cash cows to, gen uh, cash cows to generate more cash? Okay. Cash cows, there's not many. <laughs> you've got everyone that you need. You've got Brody Jones has come in. Ilias is in there. You, you're kind of sweet on that front, so there's no, really, no none of them to bring in. In terms of how to get uh, Cleary, Murray, or Papali'i, I don't think you should trade anyone, really. And I wouldn't downgrade. I wouldn't go the Nanai and um, and Arrow. Just there's not really anyone to go down to. You could go for Kula, for example, and go up for Arrow, but how, do, how long is he going to in the team? Is it going to be great? Like that's the one you could do if you want to downgrade, upgrade, or Moale or something like that. But yeah, it's just my feels at the moment with that one. Okay, Scum Boys. Not sure who to move and who to sit on. Feel like I lack coverage. Do we trade Bo? No. Trade Will Smith and Baker? Yeah, but who for? <laughs> you haven't got enough cash to go to anyone. I wouldn't be going to Taft this week for one of those two. They're still playing. They're not really losing or making you money. Baker got twenty-seven last week, so that's fine. In terms of everyone else, you're starting Walters. I'd be starting Schneider. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't even play. Like you could probably play Tui. They um, Broncos have the Panthers this week, so I'd play Tuolangi over Walters this week. Oh, you got Payne House, don't you? Thompson's gonna have to start. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I wouldn't really. I'd probably hold. Mate, you got 24 trades. Just hold steady. Kurt and Nanai or J King equals Cleary plus Schooler. Maybe this round or one to two more rounds. I wouldn't touch Kurt. 
Nanai and um, King, potentially, if you can do that one. I think it's Kurt plus them. So, yeah, I wouldn't. I would just hold off on that trade. Just see what happens next week. Uh, you got DCE's captain. You'll be fine. But, yeah, doing well. 125 rank. Well done, Bunder boys. Looking solid. Starting Ilias. Well done on that one. Just a bit light in the um, in the mids, obviously. But, but yeah, well, that's with Payne House out. Looking good. All right. 640 rank. What do we got here? Trade for Nukin to Taft. Then bring Hetherington into run on. Leftover cash could trade Nanai to clear. I know I'm trading too much though. So maybe don't do anything and wait for clear to come. Keep coming down in price. Yeah. I'd say so. You got need to play Hetherington anyway, I'd say, in this team. Ooh. Yeah, I suppose you go two over him. Heather will have a bounce back. I don't think, you know, if you've used, what do you got, 25 trades left. Yeah, Fanukin's the only one really one to think about. I wouldn't, I don't think you need to bring in Taft this week. You know, you're not going to play him anyway in your starting side. I don't think you wouldn't play him over Crichton at this stage. Um, so I think you just hold, mate. Team's looking pretty good though. Well done. 4860, not sure what to do with trades. Should I just hold? This is Watson at the telly one. Uh, looking to hold a knife for a bit longer. Yeah, I'm thinking to move a more to Blake Taff. Yeah, you can, but do you do it this week? I feel like you can hold off and do it next week. You're not going to play Taff anyway. How much longer should I hold Penasini before I move on as well with Crichton? Uh, just remember, like, even if they're holding steady and not making you cash for a little bit, unless there's someone super, some superstar rookie to go to or a superstar gun to go to, I think you just should just hold on all, the, all these guys. Uh, probably silly just to move them on just for the sake of it. Yes, Taff will do all right, but do we need him right this second? I don't think so. All right, ranked 1169 for Eat Has. <laughs> God, these guys are good with that. Uh, happy with Bench, not sure who my emergency I should be playing for this round. Elias, I'd put number five for sure, mate. I think he's going to do well. Uh, team's looking good. Hoping to get clearer next week just with the next, uh, with the high break even. Yeah, you can hold off if you like and move one of the you know, the arrows or something to him. You'll have close to enough cash. Trades, Hunter, Papali'i, nope. Oh, you've already done that. Yeah, okay. If you'd like to, obviously easy draw come out. It doesn't really matter for Papali, he's, he plays well against all the teams. If you're getting him into captain, okay, fair enough, understandable. Doesn't play Origin. Yeah, I just don't feel like you have to trade out Hunt for him, but up to you. The Knight of Taff, cash out and will allow more money for Cleary. Rabbits have a nice draw, I think the Knight is starting to level out, but I could reverse and still hold. Yeah, he's had one bad score in the last few weeks. He got a 40 odd and a 60, so it is what it is. You can uh, decide on that one, what you want to do, but you've heard um, what I've said in the rest of this video so far. All right, the ballparks. Uh, I think I've already done this one, haven't I? Yep, already have. Whoops, uh, Hegel's Bagels, 10,211 this one. It's an ISL for Aitken. Oh, I probably wouldn't bring in Aitken now. He's been someone that a lot of people were thinking about trading out, and then he had obviously a big game, so he could go back to those 40s again. You're like, oh, is Aitken a trade? You know, is it worth placing for feeder with Cool Life name this week? Probably not. Chance was a poor start of season, but is finding form now. Is he a keep with not many options for wing fullback out there? Yeah, just hold, man. He's, he's pretty cheap anyway, so who would you trade him to, you know? He's quite in a keep with all the recent performance. Uh, not a keeper. He's had one low score, so I think you just hold on to him for sure. Team's looking solid on that. The old white and, white and one is very cheeky. Keep going with him. Hopefully, you can have a nice game for you this week. All right. Okay, here he cuzzlets. Used the 28, uh, used a couple of trades this week, so well done on holding so far. Ranked 106, which is great. Hold trades instead. Uh, what did you do? Walder's trade. Um, who did you do? <laughs> Tell me who you did. I don't know. Uh, Cleary in as captain is good. Team's looking solid. Oh, this is last week. Ah, so you got 28 coming into this week. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, because it's got all this, yeah, the, DNP, the DNP in there. Uh, nah, man, hold. Team's looking good. Doing well, 106 rank, I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, this team here, a little sneaky one in there. They did well getting the, the double screenshot. Looking to get rid of Clifford for Hetherington and Crichton for Joey Manu. Ooh, cheeky. Oh, Crichton, if you'd like to. Obviously, you've started pretty late. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on any of these trades? I think they're okay. If you're looking to get Manu for the rest of the year and definitely through Origin, then that's fine. I think Clifford trading out is, is also okay. Uh, and then what, you play Schneider in there. Got Aaron Clark, he's gonna be a, a trade eventually. That'll do, that'll be fine. My trade Taff bank 301K for Cleary and or IPAPs. Yeah, okay, interesting. Who to captain if has to out, Heinz, Hughes, or Campbell, go, go to him. <laughs> this is perfect, thank you. Um, Campbell Graham, Campbell go to him. He could, be, he could be the man to skip this week. Uh, I'd probably go Heinz personally, or Harry Grant in this team. What players am I missing? 
Not many, hey. Like Teller Mays in there, Has. I think you're pretty set. No one really to trade in or out this week. What plays am I missing? Love some trade, yeah, that's about it. All right, moving along. This person decided to get rid of their name. Interesting, who are they hiding from? Who are you hiding from? 26,411, gonna get rid of Walker for either Cleary or DCE. Uh, is that Sammy? Yeah, okay. Probably DC as I don't have the cash for clear at the moment. Yeah, go straight. If you can straight sort Walker, that'd be cool. I think he's going to play okay this week, though. They don't have a, um, a super tough matchup. Mid's looking good at the moment. Might downgrade if and when I need some cash. Yeah, cool. Fanukin's probably the one eventually. Obviously, some non-money makers. Schiller, Violea, Baker, Moale on the in on the interchange is a bit of an annoying one. Moses' captain is going to be fun this week. Um, yeah, I think he'll be fine. He's either, he's either going to get 80, though, or like 30. So be aware of that. Need to get rid of the night ASAP. It's not ASAP, man. I think you can hold Vialea. Hopefully return this week. My bench is looking good. Just need to replace Schiller. Yeah, the Baker one's eh as well. Um, Vialea is probably not going to get his spot back either at the moment. All right, if you want to go, it's going to wait on clear at least a few more weeks. Look at Maddo's biceps. How good. Uh, decent overall rank, 200k in the bank. Then I'd maybe Pangai or could just save. Yeah, if you want to, you can do that. Yeah, if, you, if you're getting rid of Nanai, you've got to go to a gun. Um, trade arrow to Papali. Okay, you've already done that. And then still add 200k. Imagine that, getting Pangai and Nanai in. That is nice. You already have a, obviously a bunch of mids and you've got Hass coming back next week, so you don't have to. I think you can just leave the one trade this week. Would be fine. If you wanted to go um, Jeremiah, you could too, but that's uh, fine as a hold. Should I persist with Sexton? Up to you on that one. Yeah, completely. I think he's a hold or a trade. Thinking Aaron and Sexton to clear in someone on 260 and under. Yeah, you can do that. Teddy as a hold. Yep. Bring in Karen or Papali. You don't know who for. Yeah, probably no one this week, unfortunately. Um, trade out Arrow. Yeah, just play the Arrow this week. Don't worry about, like, don't try and get Leo in there. He's going to get 25 or 30, so that's it on this squad. Oh, my God. Do I play Ilias or Thompson over Hass if he's suspended this week? Ilias, should I be looking to upgrade Wishart or Schiller? Yeah, but who can upgrade two? Needs to be a gun a gun rookie to come in. Xavier Coates for Blake Taff, a good option. Coates is on, no, um, probably not this week. Um, just wait a little bit. Surely this is as low as Hetherington gets. Yep, especially, yeah, one week he'll play good this week. I'm banking on it. Hughes be a keeper, yes, Hughes a keeper. Burton a keeper, yes. Helen to persist with Teddy. We're playing Origins, only averaging 41. I think you just hold with Ted. Um, T's looking good otherwise. Well done. All right, the Mud Dogs, 806. Back in the top 1,000 after being ranked outside it for the first time last week, 1308. So well done. Trade out to Alungi last week for May, which proved to be bittersweet. Yeah, I suppose May was pretty important. Um, yeah, but Tui, I don't think we'll play like that every week. Anxious about my lack of money making team values now, 11.7. That's pretty solid, mate. Um, the teams in the 12, so they're you know, doing well, obviously. 12.1, 12.2 are killing it, or 12. Um, but yeah, it's just a Schiller one. If you had him as a, a good, um, a good cashy, then that would have yeah, helped obviously. The rest of the team's looking good. I wouldn't do too much this week. 100K in the bank. You could do a little bit if you want. Uh, do need to make trades. Think you're upgrading Arrow, downgrading Penasini. Who are you going to downgrade into? Cooler, I suppose. I'd be holding with Hunt. Yeah, just, just take what I've said in the, in the other video, on the other teams that should help. Uh, Matty Damon. All right. Over rank two, three, five, six. He's got his team value up there. If he can do that as well, that's even better. 11.71, uh, squad value, 285 in the bank. Happy with the bench, I agree. Shawnee Russell, hopefully back soon. Coates is the only one that's like, eh. Hold or trade on Burton and Arrow. Burton's definite hold. Arrow, he could trade eventually. He's not gonna, he's gonna be out through origin. Happy with this loot plan. I'll show you Ilias a shot. I think Ilias, I'd be given a shot personally. Um, but yeah, having Jeremiah on there, you've got a pretty solid squad, hey? Yeah, doing well. Uh, could go Hass and Arrow. Nah, don't do Hass. Arrow to Murray. Yeah, if you wanted to, you can do that. You got the cash. Um, no, don't do the three. Just Burton to Murray. Nah. Maybe two is probably the best one. Uh, or just hold this week and wait for an injury. Yeah, I think clearly you can wait a tad if you need to. Don't like force yourself to get him. I worried about him losing cash, Crichton. Yeah, don't worry about it. He won't play Origin either. So that's that, Matty. Um, last one, hey? Sure is. Okay. Seven, six, nine, eight. Have had a really rough start and want to gain ranks. Kind of looking at creating Critter and Man. IPAPs and TPJ. Don't do it. Man's going to be fine. Just didn't play 13 on the weekend, so don't worry about him. Like to hold to maximize their value. I capture, but I need to start pulling in guns to climb ranks. Yeah, of course you do, but um, don't just do it for the sake of it. You know, Kurt Man could come out and score 60 this week, and then you're like, ugh, yuck. You know what I mean? TPJ could get 25. It is what it is there. Um, 
he's not you know bleeding cash. He's, he's you know got a seventy the other week, got a fifty two last week. So don't worry about that. Payne Haas, you've got cover, do you not? Yeah, Leo Tom, uh, Hetherington. So that's fine. Teams looking good, mate. I'd just you know hold there. Is is sweet. I wouldn't do anything else with that. But anyway, four hundred forty nine k in the bank. It's up to you if you want to bring in a gun this week, and that's how you climb ranks. I wouldn't be trading out man though. That's my theory. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. We'll catch you in another video. See you later.